Hey, everybody. Hey, guys. Hi, Wait. Jen Marie. Hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we both have our little little babies, our little Grogu's. Just our little babies. Unplanned. Yes. But you know what? It's a cloudy today. day outside, mm-hmm. even though it's not really any cooler. No, it's One hot. can pretend. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. I always definitely. pretend. I know you're wearing long sleeves today. Yeah, you I am. But you know look. what? It's pretend. Oh, it's fake. it's pretend. It's a uh, mesh. Yeah. So I still get airflow. You yeah, know? definitely. Very important. So, Janae, where did you go this past week? Well, everyone, in case you did not see my stories, mm-hmm. um, well, I literally posted two. <laughs> <laughs> Post so much more. I just like, I am so awful at using my phone. I don't know what it is. Maybe I just live in the moment. Yeah. Let's Which call is, it that. Let's call it that. Thing. Let's call it that. Well, I was definitely living in the moment. I was sweating my buns off. It was so <laughs> hot. Uh. It was so hot and humid. Um, but it was great. We got to go. And I don't know, you guys. I, like, I love Disneyland. Don't yes. get me wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, I, but I, it just felt kind of different and I don't know what it was. Maybe it was, I was expecting, maybe I just, my expectations were not quite like, like I should have had less expectation. Okay. I think I was expecting something to change or be different and nothing Mm -hmm. was obviously Marvel land was there. Yeah. It was kind of a bummer. We didn't get to get on the ride. Oh, web slingers. Yeah. Because we had, so if you have like a queue, cause we had the queue for, um, rise, rise Rise of the resistance Mm -hmm. and, it overlapped by like 10 minutes, the time when you can get the next, get in the oh. next queue at noon. We were so bummed. We literally missed it by 10 minutes. So that was kind of a bummer. Um, so, you know, you until you like walk through it, it's just kind of like, yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was still cool. It was really beautifully done. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're definitely contemplating what passes to get. I don't think we're going to get the top ones. Mm-hmm. I think we're just kind of in a different season of life right now where we're yeah. just like, that just isn't going to happen where we're going to go all the time. I just kind of feel yeah. that way. And he does too. I don't know. But you guys, we can totally change our mind. Like who really knows? <laughs> yeah. So we'll and see. And do you think part of the reason why you kind of had that experience is just because of like the times that we're in right now and how it's affected everything? Probably. Um, I, I will say like the crowds didn't like bother me that much okay for some reason it didn't like freak me out um, yeah. I felt pretty safe and when well, we were good. in like a crowded area we always put our masks back on just mm. because like there were parts where it was like whoa okay like Too I don't much. even care that I'm outside <laughs> like yeah. I do not know I don't trust anyone yeah. so that did feel it felt did feel kind of weird to be back but it also felt like I hadn't been gone oh. it felt like I felt right at home again it was interesting yeah but then it's almost like I don't know What was different? Like something just felt different. And maybe we went too early. Like Mm -hmm. we didn't even like stay till the fireworks. Like I think we just like got, we got there so early. We were just like exhausted. Because I remember you guys, when you used to go, you were there like in the evening. Oh yeah. We just like go. Most of the time, right? We would go for like a a few hours. It was a long (laughs) day. A long hot day. Yeah. With masks. Exactly. That's rough. So it was good. Like it was fun. I don't, yeah. but I don't think we're going to get the highest passes as we've been like literally nonstop talking about. Yeah. We'll just see. We're just kind of waiting it out. Yeah. So we'll see. We well, might change our minds. At least you got to go. Yes. Beforehand. I, yeah, I totally agree. I was so thankful that we yeah. went before we bought, spent like $2,800, you oh my know? Gosh. Um, That's scary. So I was super thankful for that. And then I was also thankful that like, I will say the ride lines were not that long. Like everything oh, cool. was between like 20 to 40 minutes, which That's isn't that bad. bad. Yeah. So that was pretty good. That was on a Tuesday. Nice. So, not too bad. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Nice. So I'm just super stoked right now about Star Wars Visions. Yes. As you guys know, the new trailer came out and it is so epic. I keep watching it. It is amazing. I am just stunned by how vu- visually epic it looks. It's the animation is amazing. I'm so stoked that they're bringing anime into the star wars mm-hmm. universe i like love it so much that is so cool and the storytelling it's just like it's just different than any other kind of storytelling and like i'm normal excited animation. i haven't seen too much anime i remember watching a uh, death note and uh-huh. really enjoying that story yeah. and like how in-depth it was but yeah i'm so excited for this to begin i'm real i think my favorite one because there's like seven or nine stories or so yeah. the black and white is so cool to yeah. me, like the black Ooh, and white that's one. That's cool. Yeah. And only certain things are colored, like the lightsabers mm-hmm. and blasters. It's so artsy. It's gonna be yeah, really, really cool. And I'm so happy we don't have to wait long. 
I you know. just have to wait Next a month. month. Just a month. Yeah. <gasps> and do you think, so do you think they're going to yes. release them how Disney Plus has been releasing them like once a week? Or do you think they're going to put them once. all out since oh. it's a little different? Since they're each their own thing. Yeah. yeah. I hope. It's hard to tell. I know. I don't know. Yeah. I hope once a week. I don't yeah, want to binge. Cool. I don't want to binge them at once. Like oh, I want to like live done, in huh? it. Yeah. You'll watch it in a whole weekend. I, oh yeah. I'll watch it in like two days. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. That's all we but, would yeah. do. Let us know if you guys are excited about visions. I know. Cause let's give it some love. Yeah. Because well, I feel like majority of people were giving it love. There were some that there weren't. Were some people that weren't. But there Which, always that's okay, are some. But be nice about it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but yeah. yeah. So do I'm we excited. have a little mail today? Oh yeah. We have, um, we have a mail. A mail. We have a mail. This is from Jamie. Okay. Jamie. If this is on the podcast, you can read us out loud. Okay. Dear Kyber sisters, my name is Jamie. I am a huge fan. and I've been watching your podcast since the first episode. I love watching every episode to see how you decorated the set and seeing what you come up with for Vogue One. Oh, thank you. Aww. You girls have definitely inspired me with my fashion and I finally feel confident to wear what I want to wear. Okay. I love <gasps> that. Aww. That makes me so happy. Yeah. Oh. I feel like I just started to feel that way and I'm 27. Um, <laughs> you ladies also inspired me to read more Star Wars books because Janae said it's so important that people read the books. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. No. So since launching your podcast, I've gotten six Star Wars books. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Um, I drew pictures of you as Jedi and Sith in the Clone Wars style what? with vibes of your favorite characters. So Janae, I drew you as a Jedi with Obi-Wan vibes. Oh, <laughs> I also gave you his lightsaber. <laughs> I tried to get small details to personalize it, like your tattoos and nose ring. Cute. <gasps> Jen Marie, I drew you as a Sith with Vader. Ooh. And since I know you are a fan of WandaVision, ooh, <gasps> I also gave you some Scarlet Witch vibes. Stop. Wait. That's so cool. I just got goosebumps. I can't <laughs> wait to see these. You also have Vader's lightsaber. Ooh. Hope you ladies like the drawings I did for you. Thanks for all you do for the Star Wars community. God bless. Aww. I also added some base bracelets. Jamie. Jamie, you are so nice, Jamie. Thank Jamie, you for that you. precious note. I needed that today. Okay, this looks like Jim Marie. Oh yes, the red. Jim Marie, open yours do. first. Okay, here we go. I'm so excited. I'm not gonna open mine yet. Oh my gosh, I have tears in my eyes. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, that's like seriously so stunning. Beautiful. That looks like you. It does look like me. That is so beautiful. This is so amazing. Oh, yeah. I see the WandaVision vibes. Cool. These are like the pants and the tops that she wears. Oh, my oh gosh. My I gosh. love this so much. Oh, and a little little Vader oh, bracelet. Oh my gosh, says Vader cute. on it with little beads. <gasps> this is amazing. Okay, okay is let's so see cool. yours, Janae. Okay. Got, I cannot wait. We got wait. blue vibes. Ah! <laughs> oh, my gosh. <gasps> <gasps> that Whoa. is so so cool. Oh wow, my, it like matches my outfit today. It does. Oh Look my at gosh, your, I'm what obsessed. are those called? The arm braces? The arm. They're yes. like twisted. They're like, they remind me of kind of a Ray. Yeah. But like also it is, the outfit is very like, also it kind of reminds me of like High Republic outfits a little yes. bit. I was looking at them today actually online. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. Thank you, And I Jamie. love the lightsaber. I want to frame this. This is this amazing. This is so cool. Thank you, Jamie. This is so cool. Aww. And then I have a bracelet as well. It says Kenobi. Ooh, <laughs> nice. Yay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So much. All wow. right. So today we are going to challenge ourselves by choosing Star Wars favorites. The best of the best. The and best we are 100% right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you all know, well, some of you might know, I'm really bad at choosing favorites. I'll be like one, two, three, four, five, like uh -huh. all of them. Yeah. Jenny told me that we can only pick two. Yes. So we're going to do it. I will say I did say that. And then for yeah. one of the categories, I picked four. But <laughs> I, I told Jen Marie, I, yeah. I nailed it down right right before we started. So Yeah. So we got this. We're trying. So, so for the first it. one, we're going to guess each other's yeah. um, we're gonna make favorite a little game. Yes. Favorite Star Wars movies. Uh -huh. So we're going to choose one from each of the trilogies and one of the standalone movies. Yes. All right. Do you want to go first? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm guessing yours. So for original, I'm going to say Empire Strikes Back. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Um, for the prequels, for sure, Revenge of the Sith. Yep. Uh, for the sequels, Rise of Skywalker, yep. obviously, literally your favorite <laughs> yeah. movie of your life, and standalones. Actually, this one's kind of hard. I'm gonna say Solo. Yep, 
Really? Yeah, yes. I got a hundred percent. Oh my gosh, A oh. plus baby. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can I can I think you can. Okay. Old trilogy, Return of the Jedi. Yep. Prequel trilogy, The Phantom Menace. Uh-huh. Sequel trilogy, The Force Awakens. I almost did that one. <gasps> Which one did you I do? I put the Rise of Skywalker. You did? I know. Oh. I don't know. After you said all those points, I was like, yeah, you're right. That is my favorite one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> From cool. last, last one. And standalone, 100% Rogue One. Yeah. 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 Cool. Wow, we did good. I know, we did good. That, I will say the sequel one for me was kind of a, that was kind hard. of like a heart. Like that was a, that was a hard one. Yeah. because That could have gone either way because I do love The Force Awakens. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. Okay, cool. So we'll do favorite characters from each trilogy. Yes. Oh, I guess we're just doing our own. Okay, so I wonder if you're going to be able to, whatever. Original, I said Princess Leia. She's a queen, straight queen. Yes. And Han Solo. Um, That was kind of hard for me. I will say, you guys, some of these answers, I had a really hard time because um, it, like, it kept me up at night. Like I was laying in bed <laughs> last night and I was just like, did I pick who was really my favorite? And then I realized it doesn't really matter. <laughs> like, I can have whatever I want. Yeah. Okay, and then prequels, Padme and Obi-Wan, of course, Kenobi. Oh, yeah. Sequels, Rey and Poe. Oh, <gasps> really? Interesting. Po. Yeah, I don't know. I just felt that in my heart. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Giving Poe some love. I, I don't know what it is about Poe. I think he just, like, really makes me laugh a lot. Yeah. I think he's very funny and important. So well, I just like him. and you know what? Him. You're very light side, and he yeah. is, like, 100%. 100%. Like, he is like 100% Rebel rebellion. Yeah. I like that. That makes sense. So, yeah, that's, and then obviously, like, all, I literally did all the girl main characters, but they really <laughs> are just like really amazing. And then, um, same with the, <laughs> the standalones, Jin and Kira. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I just love the girl I know. characters. I love Kira. I'm sorry. Oh Star Wars did nailed it with the females. Yeah, they really did. So. You saw that Kira's getting her own comic? Yes, I that think you told me that. So cool on the podcast, maybe a few weeks, a while ago. It oh, was no, a long that time was ago. in the Boba Fett comic. Now oh. she's getting her own <gasps> comic, and I really am so excited about that. But I want to watch yes. it. I'd I know. I do want to see her. I like just love Amelia Clark. I know she's amazing. Yeah. Okay. So for my favorite characters from the old trilogy, I chose. This is really hard, but uh, Darth Vader and Han Solo. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I felt bad. I felt like I was betraying Leia. Because I love her so much. I know. But those were the two that I was the most obsessed with. Yeah. So. Understandable. Um, prequel trilogy, Anakin and Padme. Yes, I knew that. Yeah. For sure. Sequel trilogy, Rey and Kylo. hmm And for the standalone movies, um, Solo, oh, I think it was Han and Kira. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And for Rogue One... I didn't write my Rogue One once for oh, some reason. I, didn't, I only so wrote. Rude. Oh, that's okay because I only wrote one from, from each movie. Oh, okay. So I don't I'll know just why pick I didn't one. Yeah, there you go. From Rogue One, should I pick a new character? Yeah. I would say Shuret. Ooh, okay. Yeah, cool. I love him. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah. I should have. Oh, yeah. Dang. It's There's okay. so many good ones. No, was, I I missed my notes. Now apparently. I'm like, shoot. I also love. Um, who was I going to say? Emphis Ness. She's <gasps> so cool. Yes. Like, she would be my second one. Yeah. I, I love, love her. Love, 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 love. She's love. so cool. They nailed it with that. Okay. So as we continue on, the following are going to be a combination of all the movies all combined. The movies. So it's going to be even more difficult. Yes. Top two. Top two favorite outfits or armor. Mm-hmm. Okay. This one was so hard I literally me. have no idea what I, yours is. I know. I don't know what yours are either because it was so hard and I don't even, sometimes I'm like, like right now I'm not even like sure these are my favorite, but I think they are right in this moment. Okay. When I woke up this morning. Um, Padme's Tatooine dress, the periwinkle t- two piece. Oh yeah. I don't beautiful. know what it is. I just love it. I think because I would wear it myself. Yeah. And then um, I did, so I did an outfit and armor and okay. I did Captain Phasma. <gasps> Weird. Sick. But the coolest I'm sorry, that is the coolest armor. It really is. Cancel me if you want. Better than Hauser. Better than anyone. <gasps> I said it. I don't oh, I don't know what she to said say. it. I'm changing no. my camera. <laughs> we need more Captain Phasma. Yeah. She's amazing. The coolest armor ever. Okay, so that's fine. I I chose an outfit and kind of armor uh-huh. too. So um Padme's Lake Retreat gown. Yes. I will never be over that dress. I, it's oh. it is so Beautiful the colors, and feminine, yeah, and so like beautiful. pretty. I love it. And I guess Kylo Ren's mask outfit situation, like his outfit. Okay, mask. 
Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah, with him when he's like in like full yes. Kylo garb. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. There's a the dark side. Yeah, there's the dark Kinda side. Kind of both, a little bit of both. <laughs> okay, what do we have next? We're going to guess our favorite relationships. Okay. I think mine is pretty easy. Yours are literally so easy. Wait, are that... these like ship ships? Like okay. l- romantic ones or um, no? Okay. I did one romantic and one okay. not ship. Okay. Friendship. Okay. Do you want to guess mine first? Yes. Okay. Easy peasy. Yeah. Anakin and Padme yes. and Ray and Kylo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so predictable. <laughs> okay. So for your first one, I would say Obi-Wan and Anakin. Okay. I, oh, that was literally <laughs> going, that was one of the ones I wrote down, but it wasn't the one <gasps> I starred for you to pick. Okay. But it is one. So I'm like, yes, okay. it is. Um, I'm going to read all of them when you're done. Okay, cool. A friendship one. Well, like, that is a friendship one. Yeah. But no, but you have one that is starred, right? That's a friendship that you got. Oh, I do. Yeah. I don't know if you'll guess it. Um. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh is my. it Jin and Cassian? Ooh, shoot. Wait, no, that's my favorite. <laughs> oh, crap. No. Wait but, uh, wait, but you ship them, though. I right? do ship them. Okay. But they could be both. They I should have written that down. Both. I'm okay. so So dumb. tell me your friendship one and then I'll try to guess okay. your Okay. I one. said Chewie and Han. Oh, yeah. Because that is just like so wholesome. It and I just so love it that we get it in Solo and then we get them like through everything. You get to see their whole journey. Yeah. Okay. So your romantic one, I would say Han and Leia. No, I didn't. I said Han and Kira. <gasps> ah, I am not talking to you anymore. <laughs> Okay, this is why. I'm kidding, but I'm so mad at you. I don't know why. I don't know what uh, it was. Again, in the moment, I just felt like this was right. I love, <laughs> the, you know why? Because I loved how like pure and like innocent their friend, their relationship was mm-hmm. in the beginning, in the beginning mm-hmm. times. I yeah. feel like that was like, I had, dare I say, the most like least toxic of them all. Yeah. Um, I couldn't, because I don't know. Something about it, I just thought it was very no. sweet because Han was like a different person. He was just like how mm-hmm. he said he was just like so. They did have something beautiful. I, I will say, um, yeah. But shoot, I wish I would have done Jin and Cassian. Oh, so cancel well, that's them. Okay. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna do top two favorite battles, non lightsaber edition. Yes. Okay, so my favorite battles are the Battle of Hoth. Okay, good. That's a good one. I'm obsessed with that planet. I love yeah. ATATs so much. They are cool. I literally love them. Iconic. So much. Iconic. Truly iconic. And uh, I think I'm going to say Battle on Geonesis. Ooh, oh, oh. That's a clones. lightsaber battle. Oh, Is no, it? it's not. Well, there's well, both. There's oh, two parts. It kinda, yeah. Oh, no. I just well, think it's there's... so cool. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. I had that or Scarif on mine. Yeah. Because I love Scarif. Oh, is that one of yours? <laughs> the whole <laughs> battle on Scarif yeah. is so epic. The land, the sky, everything oh in gosh. space. Call the Hammerhead Corvette. Mm-hmm. Woo. It's so That cool. one gets me every time. Yeah. It was so different for Star Wars. And yeah. I think that, yeah. It was really great. Very cool. Yeah. Okay, I so- love the Geonosis battle, though. That one is yeah, so dope. So fun. Um, what's your other one? Um, can you guess? It has to do with my favorite little baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, on Indoor. Mm-hmm. The Battle of Indoor. Yeah. Aww. Battle of Indoor. How cool. It's Perfect a good one. for you. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, yes, you're right. Would you like to fight alongside Ewok? Yes. Yeah? 10 out of 10. Yeah, you'd protect them all. I want to do, I would protect, <laughs> I would literally take a bullet um, or a laser. And I also think it'd be fun to like, how I feel like they set up a lot of traps and they're always doing funny things. Yes. Like I want to do that with them. Like it'd be fun, huh? Mm-hmm. It'd be fun. Okay, so next we have a favorite, top two favorite lightsabers and yes. we're going to guess them. I'm going to guess yours. Okay. Um, I'm going to say Leia's. No. That was one of my, I had three written. Ah, that's okay. <laughs> Well, we I was like, maybe I could just cheat on one of on them. One. Well, I did too. Yeah. So that's okay. I forgive. <laughs> okay. So you have two more. So I'm going to guess there. Foraged Ray. No? Ooh. No. Oh. It would be this one on the table. Her new Ray. The new Ray lightsaber. Oh, is that not is called that Foraged Ray? 
No, no, no. Lightsaber? The fourth one, one is called? the one with like the little patch. This is her new one. I don't think it has a name. It's just called Ray's. Okay, lightsaber. yeah, that's what I meant. I yes. meant that one on the table. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I totally meant that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. And I'm going to say, uh, I, I want to say Anakin or Vader's, but they're different. Mm-hmm. Vader's. Kylo. Oh, shoot. Mm-hmm. That makes way more sense. It's okay. just so unique. His is it, That one's really my amazing. absolute top. I do have number one favorite. That one's yeah. my favorite. That makes sense. Yeah. I His is it. really, really amazing. Okay. So yours, I'm going to say Obi-Wan. No. <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm shocked. I don't know. Whoa. <gasps> okay. It's just not my favorite one. That makes sense. Okay. Mace, <laughs> <laughs> Mace Windu. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. And Leia. Yeah. Good job. It's you know what? Wow. It's the gold and the rose gold for me. Oh yeah. Obi Wan's okay. a silver boy and I'm not about that. Okay. I've gotta teach him what I like. That makes sense. I just was <laughs> like, oh, it's Obi Wan. No, I know because I'm a, I love him, but not my favorite saber. Okay. So now we'll do lightsaber, lightsaber battles. battles. Okay. So this I one have, was hard. It was very hard. But at the same time, like I kind of just knew instantly. I think yeah. I knew I picked two instantly and then I started thinking about all the other ones. Yeah. Yeah, I did too. Uh, okay. So I put Anakin versus Obi Wan on Mustafar. Me too. That yeah. is literally the best one oh. ever. It, yeah. You know what it is? I think it's all the emotion behind it mm-hmm. too. Like it just takes it to the next. Like how did they get to that point? Yeah. Right? So sad. And I also like it because it's long. Mm-hmm. I yeah. don't like when super cool things are like too fast. Yeah, yeah. It's like what the heck? Um, and then I chose Ray and Kylo on Kefper. The water. Uh-huh. The water. Was that yours? I did. I I was in between well, that one's like my top. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Those are my oh. we had the same ones. Oh, <gasps> how funny. Yeah. And but I also said the throne room with Ray and Kylo. Oh, I love I that one love too. That one. But yeah. something with the water, again, it's the emotion behind that whole scene. It's just I like know. Oh, it is so beautiful. Yeah. I feel like I kinda wanna give a little nod to the Phantom Menace duel too. Because that will always be so I iconic know. with Obi Wan, Qui Gon, and, and Qui Gon. That one, I uh, th- that one came to the forefront. Yeah, of mine too, and that one all. with the music. Oh my gosh, that's Duel of the Fates. Yes, I was watching something um, the other day on was that with Mike on TikTok? Yeah, we were both wa- Michael and I were watching it, and it, and it was uh, Dave Filoni explaining the Duel of the Fates. And I think it's oh, in I yes. think it's in the man like when the they created the Mandalorian thing. But it was just like. Oh my gosh! I could like it made listen it so to Dave Filoni talk about Star Wars for all day. I yeah. literally just want to like him he's to sit so in a chair, and I just want to sit at his feet. I know, and be like, Tell me your... he's like such a good storyteller. He is. Okay, what's next? Um, favorite ships, like ships, like actual actual ships. Actual ships. You okay. can probably guess mine too. Um, oh shoot! Uh, I don't know if I can. Really? Okay, you tell me yours. Mine are ties, like every kind of tie. Uh-huh. I love them. And the Falcon. Yep. Was that one of yours? The Falcon? Uh Uh-huh. Yeah? Gotta do the Falcon. And And then then, what would your other one be? I feel like you know it. Shoot. You'll know it when I say. It's the um, Naboo Starfighter. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. cool. The yellow one. The most beautiful ships. I'm all the yellow the one. The yellow and the and then the one, uh, Padme ship. Padme ship, yeah. That oh makes sense. Oh my gosh, that one is just, it's a sexy ship. It's a sexy <laughs> ship. <laughs> it's so shiny. It is so beautiful. I love it. Cool. Okay, now we have top two favorite creatures. creatures. So we didn't s- specify whether we were doing sentient or non-sentient, yeah. but I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. I just still... I just did like not human. Okay. <laughs> Right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so tell me yours. I feel like mine are so lame and basic, but whatever. Um, I said Ewoks. I didn't know what to do. What do you mean? I figured that worked, right? Yeah. And then I said Porgs. Oh, cool. Yeah. Little babies. Love love Porgs. Okay, so one of mine is Porgs as well. And then I put Tauntauns. Oh, that that's fun. I love Tauntauns. The Tauntauns. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're cute. Those are cute. It's funny because they're like cute in a weird way. mm Mm-hmm. Like, they don't, like, they're totally like, look cute. No. It's interesting. I think I like them. I like, like, that they're bigger and they're kind of, like, horse-like. Yeah. But they're not because they got they're the little. fluffy. Yeah, they're just cute. They yeah. are kind of cute. They're, like, ugly cute. <laughs> I remember you said that about Ewoks once. They are ugly cute. <laughs> okay, and our last one. This was Janae's idea. Thank she you. thought we should do a little animated question. A little question. nod. Top two favorite animated series. I feel like I know what yours are and mine are probably the exact same. 
Ooh, okay. Do you want to guess? Yeah. Okay. The Bad Batch. No. Oh, can you believe it? Holy moly. I know. Okay. It was really hard. Respect. <laughs> Did you put Rebels? Yep. Yeah, I put Rebels too. Yeah. And the Clone Wars. Okay. Yeah. I figured the Clone Wars. I, I mean, almost the Clone put Clone Wars, Wars is but kind of Bad Batch. It, I know it's weird. it is. Uh, yeah. I just haven't finished the Clone Wars yet. I know. So they're just not my favorite. Understandable. I mean, I, I loved season seven, but I love the Bad yeah. Batch now. And I love Rebels. I just think it's very cute. You're still going through that, huh? Yes. That's exciting. Very cute. Very cute. There's a lot of good storytelling in that mm-hmm. series, too. Really cool stuff. So. Wow, we got through it quick. We did. I'm that proud of us. Good, we did good. I know. I mean, we were like, let's just get it. Let's just knock them out. The galaxy is humongous. Yes. So I literally can't believe that we did that. It was hard. It was Again, I told you it kept hard. me up at night. I know. That's sad. <laughs> I was laying there in bed last night. I was just like, my favorite uh, shit. Wait, am I sure? I literally wrote down at the very last second, um, R2-D2 and C-3PO. Oh, <laughs> I love them. I, love I wish them. a lot of the times that we could hear what R2 is saying. I do too. Or not hear, but excuse me. See like the has like, yeah, like some subtitles or something. Because he's a little smart aleck. Oh, he is for sure. So funny. He is funny. So. Cool. So we should talk about... <gasps> The next thing. The Bad Batch. The Bad Batch. We're done. Bad Batches. Isn't that weird? Yes. It's very sad. Wow. Um, So. This was so, made me so emo. I know. Return to Camino. I have to say, it was that episode that I became so much more of a Crosshair fan. Mm. And I think it was because I was not prepared for like the emotion, the emotion I experienced in hearing his side of things. Totally. Right? I was yeah. like, oh, this is not what I was expecting. I feel like they kind of gave him, like, we didn't get that much character development from him at all. Yeah. We just got, like, him wanting to kill them, basically. Mm-hmm. Or we thought, but he kept letting them get away. So he I did. feel like they yeah. kind of maybe teased a little bit that they didn't, because it's crosshair. Honestly, he could have killed them, I feel like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't really miss. Mm-hmm. So I think he was letting him get away, which makes sense, because he literally did. Spoiler yeah. in the last episode. He, yeah. Um, but I do like that they kind of humanized him and mm-hmm. made him be like, you guys hurt me, actually. Yeah. What is it with conflicted characters that I love so much? Because they remind us of us, I think. Yeah. You know, like, how often do we have problems with people, but, like, we, like, just don't talk to them about it? I know. That's kind of, like, what it was. Yeah. They, but they were just always on the run. But, like, yeah. Crosshair was just hurt the whole time. I know, like when he said you weren't loyal to me, and I was oh. like, oh, shoot, like you feel like that? I know. Oh my gosh, I crazy. Was like, I thought that because of the chip in him, mm-hmm. that like he just didn't feel like at all for them I know, anymore. Right? I don't know. Oh yeah, so the chip. Yeah, so what do you think? the first part of the episode, we find out that he says that his chip has been removed. Uh-huh. I don't think that it has. Yeah, I, I'm kind of on that boat too. Like, like I'm on the train. I I just think that he thinks it's been removed. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of theories about that, but I like it. I, yeah, me too. I like that. They're kind of leaving us just wondering. Yeah. Um, because part of me is like, if he had it removed, there is no way that he would be this loyal to the empire. Yeah. Like, why would he be? Yeah. I don't really I mean, understand that. He was that. Um, like rough around the edges and he was kind of a little bit more harsh than yeah, the rest of them. But it wasn't to that extent. extent. Yeah, definitely. And there was, there's been a lot of like controversy over this. Did you see the interview on starwars.com where they asked specifically, fans want to know about the chip. Uh-huh. But I don't feel like it was a direct answer. Yeah, it wasn't. But some people took it like that. Yeah. But they were like, what did they say? I, I, I think, think we I can think, say. Yeah, I think. And I'm like, mm, they said, I think. Seems a little tricksy to me. Yeah. So I'm not sure. I'm like, you think you literally are a writer? Wasn't that a writer? <laughs> or I someone think, in oh, charge? Jennifer somebody yeah. her name was. Yeah. I'm like, you you think? You think? Yeah, I think they're tricking us. Yeah, that's what I think. think. But you know what? Know. Not knowing um it builds up the anticipation for yeah, the next lie season. Yeah, to me, please. <laughs> Keep me on my toes. Yeah. So the last episode, Camino Oh my lost. gosh, that one made me so sad. I, I cried. was not ready. <laughs> To see the destruction of the facility. That moment, that scene where it was like silent and they just showed all the empty like. (gasps) I felt so sad. Like the bunkers in the cafeteria. It was so sad. My prequel heart, you guys. Yeah. I 
it was like, oh my gosh, it was crazy. I I literally loved the episode. Yeah, I did too. But it was so weird because it ended and I was like, wow, that was so good. But then I was like, wait, it didn't feel like a finale. That was my mm-hmm. first reaction. And then I pondered on it and I was like, wait a minute. And then I wrote, I don't know if you read my blog post, but it, I was talking about like, how asking the question i should say have we as fans been conditioned to have these expectations of what a finale should look like probably because in finales we always have like a death a really cool battle a really cool reveal like we're just used to that yeah and so we didn't get that in this episode no we didn't but we did get the closing of a chapter we did which was that's good for me yes and amazing storytelling we got the you know the team clone force 99 back together again uh-huh. which we've been waiting to see yeah and they got to fight together they got to fight which together. was really cool that was so cool so i think like i don't know i'm not trying to say like you know people need to think it was an epic finale you don't have to but yeah. maybe like i don't know i just think that we might feel that way mm-hmm. and for me i want to try to not expect those things yeah. because i think that like having that mindset might make me miss out on other really cool things happening there it was in the episode it was so it was so epic and also who do we want to die nobody i'm like i don't want anyone to die i know i don't like like when characters die no i love everyone yeah and i just oh it was so good it was really did you have like some like were there certain like standout moments for you in that episode Um, okay remind me i've I'm pretty sure I'm right on this. So, you know, when they're in the tunnels and tech is explaining Crosshair, like he understands him. (gasps) Yes. And Crosshair is like, oh, you're taking my side. And he's Mm -hmm. like, no, just because I understand you doesn't mean I agree with you. Yes. I was like, that is some top Mm -hmm. notch, like real life Star Wars. Like that was so good. We could all literally apply that to our lives. Oh, 100%. Oh my gosh. But I just like that. Um, yeah, that really like inspired me. I just thought it was really cool. Yeah, um, that was a great moment. Mm-hmm. Watching Camino fall to the ground was just like devastating. Oh my gosh, I know. I was pretty mad at Omega that she went after the droid. <laughs> I was just like, seriously, oh, like, she's know. always doing this stuff. I know, and I love her, but like, stop doing that stuff. Yeah, but she's just a kid, and I can't. At the it. same time, though, now maybe they finally have a little droid buddy. I know, and I do like really oh, like that droid. Yeah, me too. He's a his sweetie. little nubs, his little yes. nub feet. Oh my gosh, they could not have escaped without him. No, he so, was so brave. He was. Oh my gosh. Did you notice at the end, um, the individual who gr- who greeted Nala Say, I think okay. that's how you say her name, that she was wearing the same uniform as Dr. Pershing, the I Mandalorian? I did not notice that, but, oh my gosh, but I was thought. told. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, okay, uh, <laughs> that could lead to so many cool things. Yes. Like that could have been the beginning yeah. of a lot. Mm-hmm. So... Which is cool that, like, it could have been her that did it. Like, know, all the cloning, oh my like, be, like, the yeah, base, yeah, yeah. you know? So do you think, like, in the second season, we'll see some of that? Like, the cloning? Like, what they're trying to do? Like, I with Palpatine? Because, so. yeah. obviously, Palpatine is behind this, right? Right. Like, all the cloning he's, stuff. He's behind everything. Yeah. So. I wonder if we'll see some of that. That would actually make a lot of sense because we're like, how does he know how to do all this stuff? Mm-hmm. Like, someone had to have done it for him. Yeah. He didn't do it himself. Yeah. So... That'd make a lot of sense for literally all the other movies that follow. Yeah. You know? I think, yeah, that I would like to see that. I would like to see a little time pass so uh-huh. that Omega's a little older. Maybe she has a uniform <gasps> now. Oh, like um, <gasps> armor. Oh, my gosh. I keep seeing these amazing, Omega like, artists, armor. like, give her armor. That's so cute. I want to see it. Wait, I love that. Would that be adorbs? <gasps> and then her little sidekick, AZ. I love that. I think I would like to see that. Okay. Is there anything? Love that. That you would like to see in um, season two? I just want to see Crosshair come to the good side. Yes. I'm wondering, like, he's just left there. They just, I know, just, what the heck? Like, so he just want, how's he going to get out? I'm like, you're literally, and then all the big ships left. So yeah. I'm like, you're literally just there. What are you doing? Yeah, I don't know. I don't get that. And also, That's I'm weird. like, are they going to come back for him? Because they literally wanted him dead. They don't really like him. Yeah. So, a bunch of backstabbers. That empire. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think also too another note that I had written, because um, in this season it seemed like 
they focused specifically on certain members of the Bad Batch. Yeah. So maybe in this one we'll see more of like tech and Echo. Yeah, that would be cool. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they'll just, I don't know. I would like to see that though. I, I'm wondering what they're going to be doing, like, as if time does pass like that. Yeah. I'm like, where do they, I feel like they're just going to keep doing, finding little battles. Or yeah. Doing some, I don't know. I really don't know. I, I definitely don't want to see them, like, you know, because, like, a lot of the episodes, they were always doing something for Sid. Yeah. I'm Is that done. what you mean? Like, I'm I want to see. Sid. Yeah. I want to see more. Oh, you want more of that? No, no, no. More of. More story progression. Yes. Yeah, Thank I agree. You. Yeah. Yeah. Like Sid, I'm cool with Sid, but mm -hmm. we can wrap that part up maybe a little bit. Yeah, um, I agree. I do want to see some of more of Rex. We need to finish out Hauser's story. Yeah, where so, is he? He was captured, right? Yeah, I feel like they'll bring him back. Yeah. Maybe he'll be more of like a, a bigger part of the next season. Maybe he'll I'm be the so new Captain excited. Rex. <gasps> Interesting. Not that Captain Rex can be replaced. Right. But, you know? Maybe Captain Rex needs to kind of... Be in the background a little bit yeah. more. Yeah. I mean, he's still like retire. Yeah. <laughs> he's getting old. <laughs> Very he's cool. Getting old. Well, that was really fun. Yeah. That was a great, great, great season. Finale. I it really was. loved it. Beautifully done, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's dive into Vogue One, maybe. Um, so this is my week. Hello. Okay. So I just want to say, everyone be nice to me. This is my very first bound. Mm -hmm. I tried to do a bound. Um, you didn't try. You like literally succeeded. I did it? Yeah, you did it. Is this how things are I, done? I knew who it was right when I walked in. I know you did. And I was <gasps> like, oh, I don't even think I would have known. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. So um, this is Leia, uh, Cloud City Leia, mm -hmm. right? Um, me, right? <laughs> You're the one you put it together. <laughs> literally just Googled <laughs> Leia. Um, okay, so, you know, she's wearing that like orange fit with mm -hmm. like the white thing so this is from zara um it's pretty long it goes almost down like almost like down to like bottom of my calf oh um and it's got like two slits on the side so it's just like very like chic the but drama very dramatic yeah i like love this thing so much and it's like sleeveless so it's kind of nice it's like yeah. airy um and then i paired it just with like a cute little dress like it's a linen dress um but it's got that cool maroon and i like that it was a high neck i feel like it works yeah i feel like a belt would also be pretty cool oh, with yeah. this because she had like kind of like a wrapped mm -hmm. belt but i didn't have anything like that um i got this dress at angle i don't know if you've ever heard that story i haven't yeah it's uh old i don't know okay it's That's i don't cool. know if there's that many around anymore but it's like a cool little dress um i paired it with a little rock love my rock love leia um, beautiful I mean, little thing. I like it because it has Leia's name on the back. It says, I give know. Leia my love. I love um, that. And then I thought this was just a perfect little matchy match. Sorry. This backpack. So it's a lounge fly. Lounge fly. Thank you. Um, but it's so cute. So it's got like the rebel little symbol, but in flowers. But there's also like little droids hidden in it. Mm. So we've got like C-3PO's little head, R2's little head. Um, BB-8's little head, so super cute. How cute. Um, I got this at Frankenson's. Mm -hmm. Michael did. He got uh, surprised me with it one day. It was Aww. really sweet. Um, the but colors are perfect fly, so, with this outfit. Yeah, it like matches so well. And it's a rebellion because obviously she's yes. the queen of the rebellion. You're a bounder now, Janae. I'm a bounder. <laughs> I love it so much. It was fun. I was like, oh, I guess I had something you in did. there. I was really. That's amazing. I really tried hard. And just so like the people know, is this Zara piece like a recent pickup Um, or no? Uh, no. Okay. I got it like a year ago. Okay. So actually it could still be there because some or even on like for Poshmark, a long time. Yeah, or Poshmark. Yeah. Um, it's like really good quality. Yeah. Like I'm not gonna lie, I, I this was not that cheap. It was not cheap. Oh, okay. Um but it's, but it's like a good such, staple piece. It's a beautiful piece. Yeah. And I've been trying to invest more in like pieces like that. Mm -hmm. So that's great. That's I love why, it. Yeah. Super fun. <laughs> Well, there we hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let us know your Star Wars favorites. Yes. Like I feel wanna... free to just do the whole list. I know. Honestly, want. yeah, because I like to that's like the whole point of this. Yeah. So. I think it Tell us like helps love. us like get to know each other too, which yeah, is really I agree. cool. But anyways, thank you so much and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.